In this lesson, we'll cover the Revit Structure tab on the ribbon, specifically the foundation and opening panels. The majority of what we'll do within this course will be focused on the structural elements of Revit. So let's go to the Structure tab within your ribbon. Now once on the Structure tab on your ribbon, the panel we'll focus on for this lesson is the foundation panel. It should be right in the middle of your ribbon. There are three icons on the foundation panel. The first icon will allow you to create structural foundations, but in an isolated area. For example, below a beam or below a column. The next icon over will allow you to create structural foundation walls. These will be similar to the isolated foundation. However, these structural foundations go below your walls. The next icon over are structural slabs. And you can see there's a drop down for this icon. The first one is the actual structural foundation slab. This basically would build that slab that the building would sit on or the base level. You can also add structural slab edges, reinforcement, if you will, for like parking garages. Now, another panel we'll look at is to the right of this, and it's the opening panel. Here you have five different icons for creating openings within your Revit model. One is by creating an opening perpendicular to a face, like a floor, a roof, or a ceiling. The next icon over will allow you to create an opening, such as a shaft, through multiple levels, through floors, roofs, and ceilings again. Great for creating the elevator shafts. The next one is a wall opening. This allows you to cut a rectangular opening through a wall, whether the wall is straight or whether it's curved. You can also add a vertical opening through anything vertically, like a roof, ceiling, or floor. And the last one is dormer where you can actually cut a hole in a roof, creating an opening for a dormer. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at two panels within the structural tab. One was the foundation panel and the icons on it. Those included creating structural isolated foundations, basically elements below or foundations below a column or a beam. We also looked at structural walls, the structural foundation below walls. And we looked at structural slabs and slab edges. We looked at the opening panel. We looked at ways to create openings by a face, openings through shafts like floors or ceilings, and be able to create openings through walls horizontally and vertically. And lastly, we looked at creating an opening in a roof to create a dormer. 